guys are not going to believe this. PlayStation 3, 60 gig on Amazon and Target.com for $39.99. Believe it or not, these are the first standard edition fat ones. I'm going to show you guys right now that these are $40 each. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Save $460. Saving 92% off. PlayStation 3 for $40. I just grabbed one just like five, second, five seconds ago, literally, to see what's going to happen right now. Look at this. Um, sold by Target. Go to Target. Same thing. Oh, this is not Target. Hold on. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Uh, apparently, it's a mistake. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I don't know if they're going to honor it or give you a refund or what. <sighs> Come on. But this is crazy. This happened just about maybe an hour ago or so. Look at this. PlayStation 3 Entertainment System with 60 gig. $39.99. This is ridiculous, guys. Grab this offer now. I mean, the worst thing that can happen is they're going to give you a refund. Otherwise, they're going to honor it. I mean, this is false advertising, so I'm telling you guys, grab this deal. Peace out. This has been Tech Rex, and I just bought like one or two of them. I'm going to buy like a third one. Sell it to you on eBay. Get one for me. Peace. Okay, this is a video response to the Station 2. Uh, here's my tongue trick. Okay. Yes, heaven. I think that's pretty sweet, so uh, that's pretty much it. What's happening, guys? Tech Rex here. I got a fully working 6S, pristine condition. I love this silver. Looks amazing. 3D touch. Everything is working. I've tried crayons, I've tried Coca-Cola, but what about something fun? So let's go ahead and just try some double bubble gumballs, perhaps. That was a bit loud, but guys, look how quickly these gumballs are starting to bake or boil. Mmm, that smells pretty good. But anyways, let's put a little bit of that. We have some Laffy Taffy. I want to just combine a whole bunch of different things. Some Coca-Cola bottles. And guys, this is what you're eating, which looks amazing, by the way. But let's just see in a few minutes how it's going to look like. Some Sour Skittles. What else? Some Fun Dip. And now... Oh, we forgot. How about some of that original Hubba Bubba? Mmm, looks great. And check it out, guys. Whoa, that looks amazing. Guys, look how crazy this looks like. When I just dropped it in, it smelled so delicious initially. But then literally 30 seconds later, it kind of hit me like all in the nose. It's it's like worse than battery smells. This, this stuff is leaving you no room to breathe. And this is kind of where I want to try and just, you know, drop that 6S in. Because that's how we do it here um, in the Tecrex Incorporation here. So we're going to give it a few minutes. And I'm trying to find something to stir this stuff. But check it out, guys. That phone is still working. And let's really quickly just get it out. Whoa, nice homemade-looking case. Check out that incredible sugar, guys. Looks like a Jolly Rancher. It's like this lime green color mixed with some olive green, maybe, on the sides. Looks amazing, but the 6S still has not erupted yet. And let's put it back in there. And it's literally crusting up. It's insane. One cool way you guys can actually clean your 6S is if you just swipe just like that with some pure sugar you can eliminate all that dust all those bugs on the back 
for that clean green finish. Look at that amazing color, guys. It's truly incredible that nothing is happening to this 6S. There's no smoke. There's no flames. It was on high heat. It's crazy, but the color is amazing. I love it. It was originally like this olive green, and then it turned dark green, and then literally it's like an orange, a cool mixture of orange and brown. I want to show you guys a little bit of a full view, but... I'm going to try and clean this phone off. Maybe I'll have any possible sign of life. So I turned off the heat, but, you know, the phone is ha giving me no, uh, no smoke or anything like that. So let's go ahead and clean it up, and we'll see what happens. Just want to give you guys a little bit of a tour of Mr. Silver. You guys can see some of that minor damage, but this stuff is permanent here. That sugar that's hardened, you're not going to be able to peel that off and seep through the bottom. Uh, the home button, I could still toggle that a little bit. I could feel it go back and forth. But the power button is completely jammed in. Guys, this thing is a goner. Look at those fingers. Uh, rest in peace. Before I let you guys go, I do want to thank Opinion Outpost for sponsoring this video. Guys, I think it's an amazing opportunity when you can share your personal opinion on different matters and earn cash, rewards, Amazon cards just for doing so. So if you're interested, guys, click the link in the description. You know, maybe eventually you can save up, get something like a nice iPhone 6S, which, by the way, I'm going to have a giveaway on my channel coming up. I know I keep saying that, but stay tuned for more videos. Thank you guys for watching, and peace out. What's going on guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I got well over 2,000 of these poppets. If you guys are not familiar with what these things do, it's fireworks season. If you throw it against a hard surface, this is what you're going to hear. And we're going to be wrapping this entire iPhone in a huge ball of these things, then dropping it from about 75 to maybe 100 feet. We're going to see what happens. It's going to be interesting. It's a success. Everything is in fully working order. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, guys, so check this out. I have the huge ball, well over a thousand of the poppets. The phone is inside the circular ball, and we have some cellophane wrapped all over to make it formed into this nice looking shape here. So we're going to be dropping it in three, two, one. So check this out guys, this bag turned into a completely different color. We're going to dig open into this and just how amazing this looks like. I can't wait to see if that phone survived though. Let's find that phone where... Whoa! Guys, check this out. I want to show you guys so you can see the background. This phone, does it turn on? It's still works it is cracked but the phone is still oh it's giving me some glitching you guys can see those uh, vertical lines and I'm able to turn it on and now I can do this but then after a few seconds it turns a different color but that is insane guys this was the initial impact right here so you can see this corner is completely <coughs> beat up and towards the bottom kind of looks good back looks horrible absolutely horrible as you guys can see that wraps it up that's insane guys look at what it's doing now and all of this has turned into soil like material that is insane guys incredible thank you guys for watching as always stay tuned for more videos and peace out what is going on guys, TechRex here. So in this video, I got a fully working iPhone 6S. This is rose gold, it's fully legit. And I promise guys, I'm gonna stop saying that soon, but it's just I feel like when there's new viewers, maybe people think it's a fake phone. But I promise, I, I really need to stop saying that. The whole lecture on it's a brand new phone. I mean, it's, it's a fully working, it's 10 out of 10 condition. <laughs> but anyways guys, it's probably the last time right there that I'm gonna say that. I got four fireworks. These are the ones that shoot into the sky. Purple, green, yellow, different colors. With the iPhone 5, I used two of these, wrapped it around, blew it up into little pieces. This time, I'm using four. I'm going to make one giant fuse, and I'm going to blow it up. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. Okay, guys, so check this out. We're here at the location, and one more time, here's the iPhone 6S. We're just going to check the 3D touch. I want to show you guys this is working. Got to turn it on here. It's all taped up four fireworks let's light it up guys i'm very nervous about this yeah it's working there's the camera you guys can see yeah dude let's go ahead and light it up all four one big fuse 
this is That was so loud. The cops are gonna come. The cops are gonna come. What's up, guys? TechRex here. So I've got a beautiful iPhone 7 Plus here in my hands. This thing is just gorgeous, matte black. Such a beautiful iPhone 7 Plus. Guys, I just simply love this phone. But in this video, we are gonna be casting cockroaches with molten aluminum check this out madagascar hissing cockroaches guys these things can survive a week without their head nuclear explosions a lot of things but can they survive a simple pour of molten aluminum let's find out stop puddle of aluminum guys let's get it out and look at that whoa let's put that aside check it out guys there's the phone iPhone is actually super super whoa. soft that's because it's still hot but how are the cockroaches doing? Well, they are. I think they're asleep, guys. Thanks for watching, as always. Stay yes. tuned for more videos and peace out. Hey guys, Tech Rex here. So um, basically, I did a numerous amount of tests with this BlackBerry 10 right there, and for some reason, you know. It just works perfectly fine. Drop tests, you know, it survives. Water tests, it survives. Uh, knife and hammer test, it survives. Uh, let's just go ahead and see if a nice baseball bat, a uh, metal baseball bat, will uh, take care of this. So, uh, without further ado, guys, uh, let's get started. I believe that solved the problem. So now just taking a quick look uh, to see what the baseball has done to the Blackberry. Uh, as you can see, there's the back. Back is actually in pretty good shape, you know. You have a few marks, but you know, it's pretty in pretty good shape. The front though, um, obviously you can see the initial mark right there, and then the other ones, but Blackberry 10 is dead. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos, and uh, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. What's up, guys? This is TechRax again. I uh, just want to let you guys know that um, this is from Lockers. So if you're saying this is fake, it's not fake. This is from Lockers. And since I didn't receive any paper from Lockers, like the Lockers terms or anything, paper or nothing, or the box, see that it's from I didn't show this to you guys last time but Adam Robinson for well, lockers.com 200 first Avenue Pennsylvania okay there you go does this prove it enough by the way I hope you didn't see my address whatever so there was another guy who got an iPad uh, off lockers and if you saw his video box wasn't covered with locker tape, so I don't care what you guys think, if you don't believe me, I got the soft lockers and I know that for sure, so whatever, this is just an update thing, so yeah.